Hello, I'm Alina and this is Sense of Sense where I describe fragrances for you in all five senses so you get a better feel and vibe for them. And I have for you today a new release from Sphinx Fragrances called Strawberry Sugar High. Now, I am first of all extremely flattered and grateful Sphinx sent this bottle to me for free. And when they did so, I reached out to them and I asked if they would be willing to do a full bottle giveaway to one of my viewers and they agreed to do so. So at the end of the video, I'll let you know how you can enter that and how you get a chance to win a full bottle just like this, $140 retail in the U.S. And uh, first of all, I wanted to show you what the new boxes look like because they did step up their game from the regular um, flimsy boxes that they had prior to this one and this has the Sphinx logo on it and the bottle is with the white uh, emblem on it. The Strawberry Kiss I believe has the dark emblem on it. I do not have Strawberry Kiss so I can't compare the two but I can give you the breakdown for this one. The atomizer on this one is pretty nice. It's um, pretty widespread, not too far. And I will note that um, comparing it up front to the other Sphinx fragrances that I have, this one is not as strong. However, it does have great longevity. So let me get down to it. Now this is called again Strawberry Sugar High. It is by Sphinx Fragrances. It's made in the U.S. And I applied seven sprays um, for the purposes of this review on skin. I don't apply on clothes. And I did so in 50 degrees to give you an idea of how it performs in that kind of weather and in that kind of a climate. Number one, is it a freshie or a heavy? I would put this in a middleweight heavy category. It is not too dense and it is not extremely bright. It's somewhere in between. The projection on this, I gave about a six out of 10. I got about three to four feet uh, projection on this. Four feet up at the front uh, for the first hour or so and then roughly three feet, so a nice bubble around me for the duration of the life of the fragrance on skin. Longevity, I got a 7 out of 10 on this, and the last two hours out of the seven hours were a skin scent. So it is definitely not as strong as some of the other ones, but I think also for good reason, because this is a sweet, sugary fragrance, and I think if the projection and the longevity on this was any higher, it may be a little bit, pardon me, nauseating, if that's not the pleasant word, but it would be so, because... I think it wouldn't survive heat and it would also be very difficult to wear indoors. So the dry down on skin took about an hour for it to evolve from the top notes all the way to the bottom notes and um, to kind of settle down into the base notes, into the heavier aspect of it. <clears throat> on the test strip, which I do test them, it became strawberry and caramel forward, which is a little bit different than it was on skin. So on test strips is a good indicator what the fragrance will dry down like on clothing if you do spray on clothes. And in this case, I got a little bit more of a caramel uh, forward finish to it rather than the one that I got on skin. And I'll describe the dry down on that as we go along here. The time niche for this, I would put this into spring, fall, winter, and daytime. It may be a little bit too sweet for summertime wear, and I don't think it is dense enough and projects enough for nighttime wear, where usually we tend to go out and be maybe in a little bit more crowded spaces. However, if you are going to wear this on a date night, it may work in the evening as well, but primarily I think it's a daytime type of a scent and for cooler weather. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, for the five senses, for the first one, I have taste that I wanted to uh, share with you. And to me, it reminded me of Tangulu strawberries. And I don't know if you're familiar with what those are, but those are fresh strawberries that are dipped in um, sugar that has been melted down almost to a hard caramel type of a crackle stage, dipped into it, and then you let it dry, and those are sold as street foods. And it reminded me of that type of um, a flavor profile. So not a soft, creamy caramel, but more of a, almost like a burned sugar type of a, a caramel. And also, um, 
strawberry marshmallows. So I got a little bit of a powdery scent to it, the kind that you get from marshmallows when you open up the pack, and it's a strawberry marshmallow. And also strawberry frosting, the type that you get the whipped frosting to put on cakes. It had very much that type of a taste profile that it was reminiscent of. For sound, um, I got Baby Nursery Mobile. It's kind of soothing and relaxing, but has some high-pitched tones to it as well. So it gave that kind of a feel to it. And also the song of Tchaikovsky's of Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy from the Nut Nutcracker. Uh, they're both relaxing and uplifting. So I, the scent has a really nice combination of a relaxing, soothing sweetness to it. However, there is an added touch of lemon to it, which gives it a little bit of a brightness and breaks through the marshmallowy, um, sweet, sugary, syrupy type of a profile to it. And for sight, I got Reese Witherspoon in the role where she played Legally Blonde and also Margot Robbie in the Barbie movie. That kind of a vibe to it. For touch, um, kind of the running your fingers through whipped meringue. Um, right before you bake them, you get that thick, creamy uh, consistency of the egg whites when you whip them. And it a little bit thicker than whipped topping. Um, so again, almost like a frosting type of a vibe to it. And um, also marshmallow fluff, the type that you spread for your sandwiches, the, the Jet Puff marshmallow fluff. It had that kind of a touch um, to me. And for smell, this reminded me of childhood uh, strawberry shortcake doll. And also those scratch and sniff uh, stickers that we used to collect. Well, at least I did way back when. So it has that kind of a scent to it. And also... If you took strawberry cake with a layer of lemon curd cream inside and um, vanilla frosting on top and then decorated it with sugared flower petals, it was a combo of all of those. So you have uh, the marshmallowy sweetness of the frosting, you have lemon curd inside the cake that gives it kind of a brightness and a little bit of acidity to it, and it breaks through the, the dense sweetness to it. And then there's also a floral aspect of it, but it is not very heavy, and it blends smoothly into the sweetness because I think the florals that they use in this are jasmine and honeysuckle, so they're sweet florals. They're not super powdery or overwhelming florals, so they blend it very nicely with the sweet element of this fragrance. So overall, I think it's a very girly scent. It's a feminine fragrance um, without being too cloying uh, because of the added lemon note. It's uh, very reminiscent of making homemade strawberry jam so that when you add the strawberries, you add sugar, and then you boil it. Um, but then you also add lemon to it instead of pectin in order for it to set if you've ever made homemade um, strawberry jam. That's the process. But imagine um, if you took that sugar and cooked it just a little bit past where it needs to be and almost got it to a caramel stage. That's the combination that I got overall. The florals are very light, dissipate very quickly. And if you enjoy strawberry uh, body sprays, this is a step up and a level up. So if you're tired of your body sprays lasting for an hour and then reapplying and going through a bottle in, in one week, this is definitely the way to go because the longevity and the projection on it is stronger than a body spray, yet it still has those types of vibes. It's a little bit more mature, a little bit heavier, but it is definitely not what I would call a sophisticated scent. It is not um, a formal scent. I think it's great for leisure wear, casual outings. And I, overall, I think they did a great job with it in taming the projection on it and also taming the heaviness of the sweetness to it. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely a sweet scent, very sugary, not too powdery, and it, it's blended fairly well. I can't complain. Um, I'm not typically somebody who purchases strawberry, raspberry, or extremely fruity scents, but this worked well enough because of the caramel and the dense sugar uh, vibe that's mixed in with the strawberry aspect of it. So it's pretty well blended. Now, for the good news, how do you enter to win this and how are we going to do this? So, the rules are pretty simple. <clears throat> Number one, subscribe to this channel. Number two, hit the like button. Um, 
on this video. And number three, share this video on any platform of your choice. Um, however you would like to, on Facebook, on your personal page, if you'd like to share it to um, TikTok, any platform that you choose. And number four, most importantly, please do this. Use hashtag in the comments, hashtag and write strawberry sugar high without any spaces. So hashtag strawberry sugar high. And the reason that I ask you to do this is because I use an app or um, a website actually called commentpicker.com and you need to put in a specific hashtag in order for it to randomly choose a winner. So that's why I'm asking you to do that. I will also list all the rules in the description for this video. The giveaway will run starting with the posting of this video until um, Wednesday, the 18th of November, 2023, 11.59 p.m. I will announce the winner in a video following that date. I can't give you a specific date because I don't know the schedule at which I will be recording, but it will be soon after that. And I will announce the winner in video format on my channel. So if you get notified or contacted in um, any of the, the comments that you make, please ignore that. That will not be for me. A lot of times those are scams, so please be wary of that. So I wish you well. I wish you good luck. And I can't wait um, to see who the winner is. Sphinx Fragrance will be the one that will be sending the uh, prize to you, the full bottle. It will not come from me. It'll come directly from them. I will let them know who the winner is. Please be patient in receiving it. Um, anytime there's a new release, the company does get flooded. It is a small, um, it is a small niche company. They don't have uh, factories of hundreds of workers uh, getting orders out for you, so it may take a little bit. Please be patient. And I appreciate you guys joining me for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I wish you well, peace and love, and all things good. Take care.